So today we're not talking about Alyssa Mercante. We're not talking about Rich over at RTU. We're not even talking about Dr. Disrespect. Shit, we're not even talking about Chili. Today we're going to talk about one of my all-time, all-time favorite content creators used to be. Um, and some shit he's done. Now, you guys know, whenever I started my channel a long time ago, um, some of you guys have been here before, um, I told you guys, and this was like a decade, over a decade ago, um, I liked Boogie298, his uh, humble um, videos where he talked about mental health, talked about video games, talked about his life. I thought that was really cool. And a lot of people did. A lot of people actually really enjoyed Boogie for specifically that. Um, after a while, after a few years, after he got his uh, gastric bypass or sleeve surgery, I'm not sure what he got. I don't really care at this point. Um he changed. He changed quite a bit. He ended up getting a divorce, went on some streams of H3, said some things about, uh, you know, gay people and their rights and waiting for a long time. Kind of put a lot of damage on his reputation. A lot of people started looking at it. It's like, hey, man, was you always this way? Are you just a terrible person? And that was my thoughts for a long time. Like, I still defended him. I was like... He's so cool. I want to meet this guy. I love this guy. I like like his stuff. Uh, he's awesome, uh, and I kind of, you know, image my content based on how he did it. You know, so I was thought it's like, well, maybe a fat, depressed guy like me can be like Boogie because he did the same thing. And he's successful. Maybe I could be. And for years and years and years, I can continuously made videos and I talked about this stuff. And recently, recently in the last few years. Uh, Boogie has went from a hero to <sighs> Sub-Zero, and I'm not talking about the cool one from Mortal Kombat. But anyways, anyways, um, Boogie has embraced a new villain arc of his career uh, as the Locale. He participates in the Locale uh, live podcast, which, you know what? Go for it, man. If, if that's something you want to do, if you want to make yourself look like a fucking asshole, go ahead and fucking do that. And he does. He does embrace this. He does embrace this. Um, he had a documentary a while back where uh, I think it was called The Sad Life or The Depressing Life of Boogie2988, where basically he kind of shown his true colors, what he always was. Um, and it turns out he wasn't that good of a guy. Now, why are we talking about him today? So... I guess the last couple of days he's been hyping up this thing called Fatty Fatty Coin. It's like a crypto pump and dump thing. Uh, today I learned something new though, something called pig butchering, and I never heard of this. Uh, I know when I see the pump and dump stuff, uh, automatically I think of Logan Paul and the Dink Doink situation, or some other influencer trying to uh, pump a shitty piece of shit, not worth a damn. Uh, cryptocurrency and try to get rich really quick. Sorry about the dogs, by the way. Um, and Buggy, I guess this is supposed to be a joke, right? I think it's supposed to be a joke. Um, they did have a team that made something called Fatty Coin, um, and it's basically based off his locale persona. And they did a bunch of shit. Uh, I guess they did it. They burnt some coins. And I guess some people bought in because obviously he made it's either a little less or a little more than ten thousand uh, dollars off this. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. You would think twenty twenty four. We've seen all the shit. We've seen influencers actually push these shitty coins. That's not worth anything. A lot of people think, hey, I'm going to invest, especially like Logan Paul, and I'm going to get rich just like him. I'm going to have a Bugatti. I'm going to have a yacht. I'm going to have a golden penis. And that doesn't happen. The only people that actually benefit from this is the shitty people that create this and uh, promote it. And it's fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. And you think, you know, in 2024, and Keemstar actually made a video, especially kind of making fun of it. And I know he, I don't know if he was a part of it or anything like that. But, you know, at, you take a look at it like face value. I can see what he's doing. He's doing this whole Andy Kaufman persona thing, but he's taking it a little too far. People actually bought this shit. People bought this shit, and he made some money, and it was a meme coin. And there's a lot of people that are very fucking pissed off about it. And we're going through right here on his actually on X here. 
And like I said, it's a shit coin. Um, one of the things he does have, uh, he does say he has cancer. Um, and, you know, that sucks. Cancer sucks. Just lost my, uh, the person I call my dad to cancer last year. And it was fucking terrible. Um, and he says he's doing it for cancer treatments. Now, I don't know how bad the cancer actually is. I don't. I really don't. Uh, I just know that the way this was done was fucking slimy. This is fucking terrible. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look. This is one of the things he starts doing. It's a pump.fun. A lot of people are already, it's like, hey, this is a shitty meme coin. And just let's see how it works. Pump prevents rugs from by making sure that all created tokens are safe. Each coin, it would help if I fucking show you instead of just whispering it. Each coin on the pump is fair launch, no pre-sale, and no team allocation. Step one, pick a coin that you like. Step two, buy the coin on the bonding curve. Step three, sell it at any time to lock your profits or losses. Step four, when enough people buy on the bond curve, it reaches a market cap of $69,000. Step five, 12K of liquidity and the deposit in the radium burn. I'm ready to pump. So it's like I said, it's basically just like a uh, kind of a get rich quick scheme, uh, which is pretty fucking disgusting, to be honest with you. And he did make some videos and I'll pull some of them up. He actually had a video. Up, are you top G's? We'll actually pull it up here. That way you guys can see it. Uh, so this is this is from the video. Um, he got his girlfriend. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for showing this. Um, but yeah, this, this is basically what he's turned into. This guy went from, uh, the fucking, uh, nice guy of the internet to the fucking rat king. But here we go. Let's, let's watch this together and we can laugh. Maybe we'll have a good laugh. There's some misinformation being spread around right now by certain influencers, but I'm here to tell you the truth and the hacks to help you break free from the matrix so you can be a brokey like me. Now listen, you may know there's certain myths that are being pushed on you to keep you in the rat race and enslaved to certain disciplines, but I'm here to dispel those myths for you. Number one, everyone thinks you have to have a perfect body fit to stave off any attack. That's lies. This body wasn't by accident. If you don't have anything to steal and you... Wait, was it, I thought that was a fake cigar for a minute there. That was a Slim Jim. That was classy. You don't look like a threat, <laughs> then no one's going to attack you anyway. You see this body? This is what peak performance looks like. I'm going to tell you, as a fat guy, a huge guy with diabetes that can't pay for his fucking medicine because I don't have insurance, that's fucking wrong, okay? That's fucking wrong. That is fucking dangerous. Like, the way I live right now, like, the way I, the size I am and the size of him, that's not fucking normal. That should not, should not be something to admire. That is dangerous. So don't fucking listen to that shit. That, the, the whole body positivity thing where people say it's okay to be fat, no, it's fucking not. I promise you, it's not. It's horrible. You get sick. It's sickness, and it sucks. And I'm a part of that actual uh, statistic. So I can't really help because I suck at doing my own thing. And you would think, like, put the food down, fatty. Uh, it's hard to do, especially with that. But again, again, this is bad. This is bad. This is not a good look. And it wasn't an accident. Do you have any idea how much discipline it took to create this body? Do you have any idea how many carbs you have to ingest to maintain this kind of mass? But it guarantees that when people look at me, they don't see a threat. Myth number two, a man must build an empire to have any true worth. Haram! That see, I, I think he's doing this uh, Andrew Tate, um, which I don't know if you guys ever heard. I'm sure you have if you're on X. Uh, Andrew Tate's just like um, really super gay. Um, Macho alpha male. Don't say, don't say it's the G word. Um, yeah, he's he's super gay, like super. But anyways, yeah, that's what he's trying to pull off here. He's trying to like to be a character of like a fat Andrew Tate, which you know it's kind of funny, kind of funny. But the the fact is, like people bought this, people actually bought this, and 
That's embarrassing. That is her wrong. True happiness comes from the simple things in life. An aquarium and a goldfish. You know, I don't think I can handle much more of that, but that <laughs> I don't think I could do it. So let's okay, let's take a scroll through here. So this actually went on through all the day yesterday. Um so let's take a look at some of the comments here, see what we got here. All right. Now, actually, actually, let's let's just get to the bread and butter, okay? Now, this went on. This happened. He got his money, and people called him out for being shitty. I called him out. Um, so, let's see. And actually, it looks like maybe Coffee Break. Coffee Break. Is he doing it? Coffee TV? Uh, da, 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 da. All right, here's here we go. Let's take it. Here's a here's a couple here. So this one right here, basically calling them out. This is a gross and exploitive. Regardless if she approves or not, you're a terrible example. You should also be ashamed of yourself, as should anyone who acts that way. Now, if she is talking about his girlfriend or whatever she is uh, at this point, uh, you know, kind of trashy. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, but you know. That's fine. That's fine. You can have a pretty girl stand there. Then that's that's perfectly fine. <sighs> it's just not a good look. Like a lot of people, um, a lot of people are just really pissed off. And the the biggest one, the biggest one, and Mudahar from S Some Ordinary Gamer. He actually he's been on Boogie's case for a while. Um, let's take a look at that actually, because I don't want to make this like a huge twenty minute video. Um, Basically, the basis is Boogie's a shitty person. So right here, this was two hours ago. Some people are not taking the whole fatty coin well. Death threats or wishing cancer on people is wild, but it's Mudahar, so what else could you expect? So let's go ahead and look into this. Um, I can't do I can't do Mudahar. It's like, hey, 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 ha, ha. I can't, I can't do Mudahar. I'm sorry, Mudahar. Uh, so Mudahar here is kind of funny how you're trying to flip this. You knowingly operated with scum to rent out your audience for peanuts and have no shame. You use your cancer to victimize you yourself and deflect the incredibly shitty behavior. First time I'm rooting for the cancer for the win. Uh, right here, by the way, his cancer is far from the one of the theme most serious ones. It's, yeah, I, I'm stuttering. He's going to die of being a fucking boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here's the thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish anybody to die from cancer. And I don't really like wishing death on people. Like, I don't like pedophiles. Uh, like, I automatically think, hey, cut your fucking dick off, please. Um, that's, that, I believe in, like, chemical castration for pedophiles i don't exactly want them to die but they should be punished but this you know that's his i think muda i think muda had a right to say that honestly i think um it's a based kind of based i guess um but anyways it just doesn't it just doesn't seem right like even with keemstar coming out Daddy. and he's actually <laughs> talked a little bit about it boogie 2988 promoted a fucking crypto scam in the year 2024. <laughs> you promoted a meme coin, a shit coin, a scam coin known as fatty. <laughs> no, I, I kind of feel like Keem is in on the joke, but I think he, he's right. You know, you would think after like the years of this shit happening with influencers, promoting this kind of shit and being really slimy and taking money from their audiences here's the thing here's the thing i'm going to tell you this so you're an influencer uh you're an influencer for a reason people follow you people like you uh people look up to you you are a um icon you uh people worship you like i said i used to be one of those biggest fans and i was like messaging was like oh, blah, blah. um you know i guess you could say i was hot for boogie at one time and it was pretty embarrassing looking back at that but here's the thing like people that like you and you promote something and this is why people say it's exploitive because people if you don't you know i mean take a look at logan paul for example he does shitty fucking things and people buy into it and that dude's just richer now like i said even if this was a fucking joke if it was um you know just trying to be haha -ha for the memes it's still the fact somebody bought that 
somebody actually bought and paid for this. The dude made money off this being exploited, and the people that got into it, hey, they're that's that's money they don't have in the bank. Now, right now in this economy, it's fucking terrible. I'm going to tell you that spending like three dollars and fifty five cents for some gas like per gallon or going to the fucking grocery store at Kroger and what you used to get for like, I don't know, $120 seems like it's like 200 and some dollars now. Um, it's not, it's not good. It's not a good look. It's something you can't really be like, ha, 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 yeah, it was just a meme. Um, because it's, it's awful. It's fucking, and here's the thing. Like I said, I used to love watching Boogie's content. I was rooting for the guy. Yeah. He was going down his villain arc, going to the low cow podcast, but Dude, this is wrong. This is fucking wrong. And there's a lot of people, like, genuinely just like, hey, dude, why the fuck are you doing this? I even messaged out to him. I was like, why the fuck are you doing this? You went from chalky Mr. Rogers to fucking the Rat King. And that's why they posted it on there. I was like, you could have turned yourself around. And I said this about Rich over at Review Tech USA. These people, like, they get to the point where, you know, they lose their fame. And they're trying to do every fucking thing they can to stay relevant. And they... Basically, go to this shit instead of like turning around, taking the time off, and reevaluating yourself, and be like, "Hey, uh, maybe I could turn things around. Maybe I shouldn't be a fucking shitty person." But in this case, you're not. You're being a really shitty person. Uh, people spent money on this, and yeah, I know those people shouldn't have fucking done that. In 2024, we've seen this happen before. You shouldn't have fucking spent the money. So that's also on you for doing it. But like I said, if you, you know this is the influencer you like, he influenced you to buy a pumped up shit meme coin, and there you are. You're out of the money. You might have spent like five bucks. Maybe that's a fucking Burger King burger or something like that. That's still money that went into this fucking slimy fucking piece of shit. It's fucking terrible. And Boogie, I, I don't understand, dude. Like, why? Why would you do this? Why do you want to be this way? Why? You could turn it the fuck around. You could have done that. But here you are, right here. You're just fucking being a fucking dickhead, dude. Whatever reputation that you may have left, that's not helping. It's not helping. And like I said, I know you're embracing the villain arc, but come on, dude. Have some fucking respect for yourself. I'm not fucking perfect, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make people spend their money on a, some shit coin that's not going to be worth a damn just for the memes. I'm not going to ask people for money. I might put donations out there. It's like, hey, there's that option. But I'm not going to be like, hey, give me the money, please, so I can pay for my cancer meds. That, again, you're using your cancer as leverage for people to buy this shit. You know, I, you know if you have cancer, dude, that fucking sucks. I really, I hope you get better. I hope you get better. But, you know, people point out how shitty of a thing this is, especially Mudahar. Like, you know, I know you don't like Mudahar, and some people think Mudahar is not that great of a person. I like Mudahar. I like his content. I think he's a good person. Um, and he's just calling it as it is. Um, and he's been on your case several times, but you keep on doing it because it puts you in the fucking limelight. So basically what it boils down to is you're trying to get attention no matter what it is, no matter how morally right or wrong it is, you're getting it for attention's sake. And that's fucking terrible. That's fucking terrible, man. Like, if if your career ends, and it probably already has, uh, whatever happens to the Cow podcast, whatever happens to that, I hope, you know, I hope you're successful. I hope you don't have to, you know, work a nine to five like everybody else does. I know that's something you don't want to fucking do. You said it in your documentary. You said it since then. So you fucking go into this predatory, uh, exploitive shit stuff. It's fucking terrible. It's like as a fan, as a fan, as a fan, like for a long time, like this obviously bugs me how somebody that used to be humble, safe, awesome to talk to or awesome to listen to goes from that to Hitler, basically. Um, that's fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. And I fucking hate it. Guys, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you watch this video, probably not. You're better than everyone. See this video. Um, don't fall for this shit. Don't fall for this shit. 
if somebody's doing some kind of fucking crazy pump and dump or an NFT, they say, hey, you can make some money, even if it's a fucking meme. Don't do it. Don't give your money to this shit. Because it's going to keep happening, and more influencers that see this, the more they're going to do it, and the more you're going to be out of money. And like I said, right now, money's pretty tight all around the world. We got this fucking crazy inflation. It's terrible. Uh, it's awful. It's awful. And you should not You should not participate in that. Um, and I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you lost your money. That still, that is on you for doing that. But you shouldn't have let this guy influence you to do it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you uh, enjoy. I'm not really uh, going to talk too much about it. You know, Boogie might say some shitty things later on. I might cover it. But there's also some more stuff coming out about uh, Dr. Disrespect we could talk about later on. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.